Jesus, lover of my soul, Jesus, I will never let you go. Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing today? Well, I hope I love that song, Jesus, lover of my soul. I used to sing that over and over and over and over because I do love Jesus so, so much. Thank you, God, for Jesus. Today behind me, I have another photo of somebody's apartment or condo. And this is just all black and white. I typed in black and white and then all these apartments came up. I thought, oh, I like black and white. But, you know, I think some other colors in here would be good, too, because I'm almost looking like, you know, back in the day where there was no color on television, just black and white. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into God's word with Joel Olstein's The Power of I Am. Today's title is strong and confident. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is from Joshua 1, 9 from the NLT. I was in England a few years ago. They were having a ceremony to honor the queen. When the queen walked into the room, you could feel the strength, the confidence, and the dignity. She waved at everyone through that room as if they were her best friend. What's interesting is that there were all kinds of important people in that room ar from around the world. And I say this respectfully, but the queen was not the most beautiful, the wealthiest, fittest, or most educated person in the room either. But by the way the queen carried herself, you would have never known it. Why? She knows who she is. She's the queen. She comes from a long life of royalty. It's been ingrained in her thinking. I'm not average. I'm not ordinary. I am one of a kind. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God, for your word in Joshua 1, 9. And thank you, Joel, for this um, message here about the queen. Wow. That's pretty awesome. Um, you heard it. She wasn't the most beautiful, the most, you know, wealthiest, the most, the most anything compared to the other people in the room. But she knew who she was. She carried herself with strength, dignity, because she knows she is royalty. Praise God. And we need to do that. We need to remember that for ourselves, that we are royalty. We belong to God's family. We belong to God. We are his children. And God loves us so, so very much. His love is so unconditional. And there is nothing, nothing like it. Praise be to God. Today, the daily readings of the Holy Bible, I'm going to be reading Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. The word of the Lord. May you continue to hope in the Lord so that you can be strengthened by him because that is how it's done. Praise be to God. All right. Now, for David he C. Heathners, clear my vision. I remember the old days, went over all you've done, pondered the ways you've worked, stretched out my hands to you, as thirsty for you as a desert thirsty for rain. That's from Psalms 143.5. Do you remember what God has done in your life? How he worked awesome miracles in your life? And he brought along people who blessed you. Do you remember times you have felt close to God? The more God shares with us, the closer and closer we feel to him. As the Lord single-handedly meets our needs to feel loved and cared for, we should desire to experience closeness to God on a daily basis. 
Amen. I totally amen that. And today's prayer here is, what a relief, Lord, that you have rescued us from ourselves. Please guide us back to you by reminding us all that how good you are and how good what you've done for our, our lives. As we shift our focus back to you, we are grateful to hear your beautiful voice. Amen. 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 Praise God. Thank you, God, for your word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, God, that we can hope, Lord, in you, and you will renew our strength. No matter where we are in life, Lord, whatever we are dealing with, whatever you are having us deal with in our work, in our ministry, in our personal lives, Lord, that we can come to you for strength. You will renew us and strengthen us. We thank you, God, that you are the great physician, that you restore our souls, our spirits, our minds, our bodies, and our so our, our, our beings, our emotions, Lord. Father, we thank you that we are your children. You love us so much, and you want you have the very, very best for us. And Father, we are here for you. We are here to receive all the goodness that you have for us. And Lord, help us to remember that we are your royalty. We are royalty. We have your DNA and we are your children. We are equipped with your talents, with gifts, with intelligence, just everything, God, that you are. And we thank you, God, for the miracles that you have performed in our lives, for the blessings that you've given to us, Lord. We want to honor you with it. We, we thank you so much for all that you've done for us. You are an amazing God, our amazing God. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Remember to constantly recite that this is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Until tomorrow. Bye.